right, so we got Scylla versus Freya here. Scylla's been one of my favorite uh, gods in general, and, you know, I love playing her in Joust. I think she has pretty decent potential, only because her late game is so strong. Um, and if she snowballs, you know, she's she's such a monster. Ha, ha, ha. Um, she is just, you know, overall a pretty strong god. I don't know how she'll do against someone like Freya. I'm interested to see. I think you can build her um, really well for Joust. Like Soul Reaver is so strong on her um, because in Conquest, you know, Soul Reaver has its faults. Like you can use it in a lot of times when you're just trying to poke. Um, but in Conquest, you know, you generally commit. Uh, in Joust, rather, you uh, generally commit to the uh, to the fight if you uh, use your Soul Reaver. You know, when it's up, it's easier to keep track of. Um, and there's only one person, so you're gonna be procking it on someone that you don't want to. Wow, he's decided not to do a buff there. It looks like. Yeah, because he has a Fatalis, so I guess your reason that he can't. Weird that he would start Fatalis too, I've never seen that before. No Vamp Shroud, no nothing. Your middle tower is under attack. So that's gonna naturally put me a little bit ahead uh, of him here. Since he didn't start the buff. Inexperience, but gold wise slightly. So much poke, man. So that early game, like even her autos just do so much. Just out traded Freya in autos, son. That's how fucking strong this god is. <laughs> With a pot. Oh my god. Let's go. ABC Scylla coming at you. Coming in hot. Hopefully I can get this. Real quick. Yeah, we out, we out, we out. Close. We go for cooldown boots. These cooldown boots generally a little bit better in Joust than uh, than damage boots, but in certain situations, damage boots are still the way to go. People sometimes will just shy completely away from damage boots. When you want cooldown on other items, like if you're gonna go wing blade and you're gonna go breastplate and stuff, like don't go cooldown boots, right? There's no point. You're gonna get it on those items, and those items have amazing like passives and things that you really generally want, you know? Um, like the wing blade, like the spirit robe, uh, things like that. And if you're gonna be able to go with those, it's a little bit better than cooldown boots, you know? So. Hey. All oh, right, and they are going to be pen boots soon. Did I call them pen boots, actually? I was talking about damage boots, by the way. This is pre-patch, guys, before pen boots exist. Or after pen boots no longer exist, but they will soon exist again. He's, like, completely underestimating the fuck out of Scylla right now. Nice ulti. I should have, you know what? Well, he didn't have to go into his ulti until he sees mine, so that's the thing, right? Oh, so close. Jesus. Oh, I actually did not blow that up. Um, so I don't think I can force out his ult. So that's going to be one good thing for him is that he can uh, use his ult to escape mine each time. That sucks for me, but. The ult is not the only reason so strong, right? So. It's one of the main reasons though, so it's kind of crappy not being able to confirm it, but... I think I have more sustain than he does here, so... Look, he's out of mana already. I can uh, really take this wave. He's acting like he has something here, but he doesn't, you know? Empty threats, son. Empty threats. We go for warlocks.
And I have cooldown boots, right? He doesn't have cooldown yet, so I'll have my ult while he doesn't. Oh, we should be able to... There we go, boys. So, it's all about, you know, making, uh, making good use of, uh, of cooldowns and things like that, too. He bought the cooldown boots after he ulted was the thing, so he didn't have his ult. A lot of joust is about awareness of your opponent, right? I think I'm not sure is if I want like a wing blade this game or not. It's hard to escape Freya sometimes. Uh, I will go for sprint for sure. Subtly jump by the, uh, <laughs> the mid. Of course, Scylla is like full clear with the crush. It's also amazing for Joust. Allows her uh, so much time to, to freely go into the jungle and take all the buffs she wants. We have a huge lead right now. He didn't start a pot though, so you know, he still has comeback potential. Had he started a pot, this probably would have been like ripper on his firm already. The warlocks. Um. Hmm. Honestly, I think I'm gonna double stack. I'm gonna do it, dude. I'm double stacking. Thoth is so strong on so. With the movement speed, she really can't catch me here. Oh! That was a really good reaction by her. Wow, he actually stepped around it there, and I'm probably out because of that. Nice! The root is good! We made it! So yeah, the ult, uh, you know, important to remember. The ult does... No! <laughs> Give movement speed, yo. It's movement speed. So, ult for ult there. Happy. And mine will actually be coming up before his, so if I can force, uh, uh, force it out on him. It'd be huge. Yo, Weepin, thank you so much for the sub, man. Thank you. My fucking man, we been... love having you around, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Finish up the one. You always want to put, you know, the final point uh, in your one before going into, uh, before putting another point in your ult because of uh, Scylla's passive. It grants her the um, both the extra pa uh, power bonus from having uh, another ability at level five, um, and also. Uh, it roots three enemies now, and that's so freaking strong, man. I can't even tell you. Shout out to Cog. <laughs> Ooh, we got it off before she got into the sky. This is huge! There we go. See, that's one thing. If he doesn't react quickly enough, um, I can just bop him. Because uh, Freya does take damage as she rises into the sky there. It's a little awkward that I went on such a late game build because I don't want Freya to get to late game, right? So. Go a little 
little bit of defense. Does seem both years, right? I'm gonna go with Stone, I think, because. I don't know, does Soul Reaver even make sense on Freya? But I don't know. I'm scared of it regardless for some reason. Because Soul Reaver is like engraved in my brain as the answer to uh, a lot of health. So. His ult? I don't know if his ult's up or not, actually. Aw oh, man, I tried to get a little, uh, a little, a little fancy there, you know? Cause I figure I'm definitely gonna be able to, uh, to land the ult if he's not already, uh, rooted, right? Because then he won't see it coming and he can't get in the air in time. He would just not be able to react, react quickly enough, uh, to just see the symbol on the ground. He'd have to, like, see me go into the ult first and, and ult. Um, so I figured if I could get it blind, I'd get him, but I was unable to do that. See a zombie, thanks man. Yeah, Freya, really, really poor early game, and I'm just trying to push that. As you can tell, you know, I'm picking a lot of fights with him. I'm trying to uh, put him in an awkward position where he has to back a lot. Because of that, I've had complete control of the jungle. We're over 2k ahead. Go, Zoe. And experience-wise, three levels ahead right now. It's pretty fucking absurd. I even knew that, uh, you know, she couldn't do much about me double stacking here because I'm having such a smooth early game transition. It's gonna be hard for her to get there. I just don't want it to get to super, super late game. I'm gonna go shield the underworld as well. Now that I have a little bit of uh, tankiness with my health and uh, defense. trades just aren't favorable for him. His whoops down so I can engage on him. Um, and he's, you know, he's wasting mana. He's just not hitting me at all there. You know, I regen the one auto that he hit me with instantly. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I do need pen actually, so that's what I'm going to go for next. And he did go Bulwark, so Soul Reaver might hit pretty hard. It's not going to hit that hard because, like, her... Her health is naturally pretty low. Had she gone like a Warlock's Bustable Warlock would be really big, but it's still 450 health. And Soul Reaver is good enough on her in general that I might be able to... And... Now that I think about it though, I already have the uh, Obsidian. Maybe he realized that I wouldn't go it. He's just not doing much damage to me, man. It's just it. Uh, because of the obsidian, right? I kind of want to go. Good reaction by him. Ah, oh, damn. So I want the rod, so I need the uh, rod last item. Damn, just out of there. Go, Zoe! So ideally I end this out with Obsidian and uh, Rod. Oh, I went the wrong way, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes she might get tower if I leave her to just get it, so. Your middle tower. Right, she's actually not anyway. 
one thing that I'll note that I don't make too much use of with Scylla uh, in Joust, because it's, it's a little hard. It's good against buffs uh, to leave out the uh, the two, you know, because uh, it gives you, uh, or it does a magical protection debuff on uh, on the targets in the circle, so good to make note of that and to try to use that. So if you can like throw down your two, then root him, you're going to do more damage. Especially if you have a confirmed ult, then you throw it on you too, and all of them. But obviously those are hard to come by in Joust. Now with the Subsidian, I'm actually going to be able to hit the tower. But the Fatalis is hard to catch here. There we go, we were able to force it that time. Damn, didn't think you'd expect it. Uh, very smart, he doesn't use his shield. Uh, he doesn't use his auto, I know I have to shield up. Uh, and I just missed that one, that was an awkward mystery. But we're luring him out slowly but surely. He doesn't have his ult, so I don't have too much to worry about. Holy crap, close. Like, if he had his ult, yeah, that'd be a confirmed kill. Damn. Playing it really fucking close to the edge here. Should probably just back off. It keeps coming at me, man. I don't want to give it up. Alright, he backed, so he lost. Our music ran out. I'll fix that in a sec. Uh, so again, I blew up the two before using the one. It's a habit. If I do use the uh, show the young world correctly, it hurts Freya so badly. It's really, really. Uh, uh, big because um, I can uh, make sure that she stops autoing me, right? And then that's pretty big because she doesn't have the Fatalis on and I can confirm my route. So, not just for the uh, for the reflected damage, but also because it stops her uh, her pursuit. If I can get him to stick here while he doesn't have his ult up. There we go, boys. Mm. Perfectly baited there. Hit him through the Phoenix. He doesn't he doesn't have these yet. Made note of it. Said, alright, so you're done. Also, this music's a lot louder than our old music. I'm sorry. <laughs> Titan's at half health. I might even be able to keep going. Tonight. All right, nah, he's got too much push right now without the fire minions up. Let me lower the music. Time to chill for a sec. With the uh, Titan that low, I'm just going to uh, ult it. You know, drop a two, ult it, want it, blah. Here 
I try to wait until the pulse is down. And we might be able to just end it here. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. One auto will do it, boys. GG. And for clarification's sake, I don't consider that a backdoor when you have somebody's titan at less than half health and you were bodying them, sort of. No, not to be BM, sorry, I didn't mean bodying, but <laughs> you were majorly ahead. Uh, in that case, I say you go finish the game, man. Like, no reason for Joust games to take over fucking 15 minutes consistently, which they do. So, end it when you can. GG, you guys.